Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be showing you how I do my face every day. This is not going to include my skincare. This is just going to be all makeup. And then I'm going to do another video on something more neutral for the eyes um, using my Victoria's Secret palette that I did a... Um, a haul on a couple videos back. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've already moisturized my face. As you can see, I don't have anything on my face. I have a lot of imperfections. I don't have um, any like pimples or zits or any active thing on my face. I just have a lot of scarring. So um, I don't really think it's that bad. I've been doing a lot to take care of it. So um, I'm just going to be using a light foundation and um, show you what I do to get my sort of flawless finish face for the summertime. So I'm going to start off with my foundation and I am using a new product for me. I've had this for a while but I've never actually used it. Um, so hopefully it matches me right now um, and I'm using the Victoria's Secret um, soft focus liquid foundation. It's got SPF 20 in it, which is good. And I'm going to be applying it with my angled topped kabuki. This is the, um, F84. And it looks like that. And I'm just going to try, I'm just going to put the product on the brush. And I'm going to start off with like a half a pump. So I'm just going to dot this around my face try half of the face. So I guess this is sort of like a demo of how this product applies. Oh, matches my skin pretty good. That's a plus. So I'm just taking the angle just around my eye. Not too close because it's got SPF so it kind of tends to burn my eye a little bit if I get it too close. And we'll do another half a pump on the other side. Oops, I probably should have put my hair up to do this, huh? So, it looks like this foundation is pretty light coverage. Um, it looks buildable. Um, covered pretty much everything that I want to cover in it for a foundation. I don't generally like too full of a foundation. Um, whatever is sticking out too much for me, I'll just cover it with concealer and that's good enough for me. So I think I'm actually going to put my hair up because this is kind of do my forehead and I didn't even do the, a half a pump on that. I pretty much just do my forehead just to even out the rest of my face. I don't tend to get breakouts or anything on my forehead. But I like my face to be one color. And foundation is done. I have to say, this is decent foundation. I quite like it. Um, looks like my face is a little dewy. Not too bad. I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm using my MARC Conceal For Real. Just like that. Um, from Avon. Just going to go under my eyes to conceal my very visible circles and just a little bit around my mouth and on some spots on my face. And then I'm going to go back with my brush and go around my nose. Around my mouth. And then I'm just 
going to press on this one and around my eyes. And whatever else is not completely blended, I'll use the brush. Okay. Okay. So this is thing the face so far quite like it. And then I'm going to use my face powder. This is the Revlon Color Stay. I am let's see in medium deep. I think this is the darkest shade they do. I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush. Looks like this. And I already hit pan. I've only had this for like two months, which is kind of crazy. gonna swirl this around my face. I'm kind of more so pushing it on. Go around my nose and under my eyes for sure. It's where I tend to get more oily. And on my forehead. my cheeks just yet so I'm going to be using a cream bronzer blend in. and for my cream bronzer bronzer I'm going to be using my other real techniques brush this is the expert face brush and my Elizabeth Arden um, Flawless Finish Cream Makeup in Cocoa 49. It's like this. You can tell it's a lot darker than me. And I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't really use too, too much of this, but I like to contour with this color. because it's not too dramatic. It sets a nice base for my powder bronzer. It's more so like a contour because it's matte. Take it on my temples a bit and maybe a little bit down my nose. And right in the little crease right there. This makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Not that I need it, but it's flattering. Okay, then um, these brushes are really great because you can wipe them off really good on a tissue and they're basically brand new. It's completely um, dry now. And I'm going to be using my bronzer, which I'm practically out of. And this was from Claire's. I don't think they make this anymore, but, uh... I got this probably about three years ago. And I never used it. It's still in this packaging for the longest time. And I just kind of broke it out and started using it, and I really like it. Down the nose, on the chin. And then I'm going to go back to my brush with my powder and just blend that into my face. much 
all I do for my skin. I'm going to use a little bit of the Victoria's Secret um, Face Illuminator. This is in the shade Yes. Looks like this. I've had this for a while too. I got this in the semi-annual sale. And I'm just going to a little bit here. And a little bit down my nose. And on the other side. And a little bit on um, my can't spell. Okay, and that is it for my face. I think I'm going to use a little bit of blush and use my MAC um, Crew. Looks like this. This is from the, uh, the Sailor section. I'm going to use my powder brush for this. Just swirl it all. So that is my face routine. I'm going to do my brows and show you what I do for my eyes. Thank you so much for watching and please check out my blog and I also have a Twitter and an Instagram and I will link all of those in the bottom bar below. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!